Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make the pages for the inside of the embellishment book. One of the things that I have forgot to show you last time we left off on putting the binding in the middle is we need to kind of snip off these corners right here, like at an angle. So just, you can do it before you add the binding to the book. It's a little bit easier. But if you forget, it's okay. You can just do it, uh, you can just do it like when it's on there. So you're just going to snip a corner, uh, the corner off of each one. So let me see. Let me get close to the camera so you can see it. And just at an angle. And this is just so when you put the pages on, like it's kind of flush, like this doesn't stick out. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them. Let me turn my AC off in here because it's kind of loud. Okay. So go ahead and snip all those off. And I went to get some, because uh, on the other ones, like on the other books that I do, I use the same color uh, cardstock that I use, like on the binding and on the on the cover. But I couldn't find. Uh, I went yesterday to Michael's. I didn't get a chance to go to Hobby Lobby because I didn't have any on on hand. Because I need twelve by you need twelve by twelve uh, sheets for the pages. And I couldn't find the craft color. They had some there at Michael's, which I did buy some. This is all they had, and they were like in the single sheets, and these were like a dollar. But they're the, um, they kind of had like a wood grain, and I didn't care for them. So for this one, instead of using the same uh, color cardstock as the outside and the inside, um, or the binding, I'm going to use just some color cardstock that I got. This one, I it's like a heavier, you want to use like a thicker, you know, like a thicker cardstock. Not like those flimsy, the flimsy single sheets you can buy at Hobby Lobby. I would use like a thicker one. So, what you're going to do is, which I already cut a couple of them. I'll cut one on camera. Let me get, um, get my paper, my cutter. So what you're gonna do for the pages, or for the, I guess pages you can call them, or pockets. You need, you have six pages that are gonna be in the, in the book. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you need six pieces. And you can get, um, you can use three 12 by 12 sheets of paper, and you can, so you get two out of each 12 by 12. What you need to cut it down to is 11 and a, 11 and a half. So 11 and a half. Hopefully I'm in frame. And I'm gonna keep these strips because they're it's like a textured polka dot. You can use it for embellishments. Okay, by five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. So that's one page. And so out of the uh, 12 by 12, you can get another one. So five and three quarters. And you'll have like very little waste. So this is all I had of waste of that. So you'll need six of those. So I did uh, two pink and this is kind of like a green, like a teal green, aqua green. And then I'm going to do two more pink. So 11 and a half. By five and three quarters. And this other one, five and three quarters. Okay. So then you need your scoreboard if you have a scoreboard. And what you're going to do with these is you're going to get the long side. Oh, got this one on clearance. I left the tag on it. You know what? I don't even think that matters because 
It's going to be folded, but... Okay, it's ripping. Okay, so put it on the long side, and then you're going to score at a half an inch on one side. So score at a half an inch. And then what you're going to do is... I'll just show you how to do this one. Fold the half... First, you're going to fold the half an inch... Oh, sorry. You're going to fold the half an inch side down and then get your bone folder and rub it on top of there and then you're going to fold this in half so i just line it up put it on the table and then line it up and then you just fold it and then just bring your bone folder over it. and then what you're going to do on this um flap is and i bought i ended up getting some half inch score tape and this is the one from uh let me see you can it has a glare from joann's it's that miss sparkle and company sometimes they have them on sale i think i paid like a dollar 19 and this is a half inch and it comes in the bigger i got this thicker one here this is like an inch and these are the ones that i get from tuesday morning and these work pretty good i've used these on the, the other books and they're usually like 219 this is a quarter inch, this one's $1.99, but this is the half inch. Okay, so you get the half inch tape and you're going to open this back up and just put a strip of the half inch tape on that little flap that you um, the little flap that you uh, fold it over. And then just rub your bone folder. And this one too, we'll go ahead and cut the corners like that. Like how we did the other one, the book. Just so this doesn't stick out. It looks a little bit cleaner, you know, when you do that. So see, we cut that one. And that one at an angle. And then go ahead and peel it off. I hope I'm in frame. And then you're going to just... This is a sticky part. You're just going to put it down. And you can, like I told you, you can use glue. It's just faster when you use the, the tape. Okay, so this is what you have. So, it's kind of like a tube. So you have kind of like a tube. So when you add these, which I'm going to make the other ones off camera, but so far that there's that one. So what we're going to do on this piece, on the, the book piece, on the binding, you need to put uh, score tape or glue on both sides of each little accordion. So you'll put a piece here, a piece here, because that's how we're going to attach the pages. So let me do one, and then I'll show you. So you can use the half inch on this one, too, because these, these were a half inch. So I would normally do all of them, like make all my pages and then, you know, tape all my, um, my binding. It's a little bit easier. Then, so you're going to get one side of this, these, the page, and you're going to, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to, it fits right in there. So when you put it on. You don't want to put it all the way on there because if you put it all the way like on the on the crease where that crease is at, the pages won't flip right. So just get it as close as you can to that. So I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to get as close as I can. Ah. That side's good. Yeah, that side's good. 
So then once you get it on there, just use your bone folder and and I probably could have did that one a little straighter. You want to kind of put that in the middle. Put the page in the middle. So that one's a little off, but it's okay. Once you get it filled, you won't be able to tell. So then that's one of your pages. So you can close this piece up if you want, but like in that other one that I made, I showed in the video, I put um, embellishments in there also, and I just added like a little tab. You can make a tab or I have a, a tab punch. I have this, this tab punch. So I just punch out like a tab and I added it to one of those plastic bags and I put the embellishment, uh, the embellishments in here, like, like, uh, actually they were, um, die cuts. I put them in there. So each one will have them, but you don't have to, you can add glue or tape right here and just close it up. I was trying to figure out a way to stitch it, to do stitching around it, to close it up, but you would have to do it while it's on the book. So I didn't do it. So I'm going to go ahead and make the other uh, five pages. And then I'll do one more on camera. We'll reattach it. I don't know if you guys uh, have heard this before. But I had heard it somewhere. And I didn't do it to the other page. But I had heard that you, when you score the paper, you score it on the side, the good side. So like, this is my good side. It's like a texture side. So... I want to fold my flap, my uh, half inch flap that way. So they say to, or I'm, I don't know if that was in camera. So I want to fold it that way. So they say to make your score mark on this side. And it's supposed to like, um, when you fold the paper, the paper will uh, be less prone to breaking or cracking, which is true. Like if you do it, it does, it does fold easier. I mean, I don't know if everybody does it that way, but. I've been trying to get better at doing doing it that way, especially when I make these books and I use like the thicker cardstock. So when you, so there, I scored on that, the right side of the page, the paper, and then I'm folding it that way. And it does, it folds a little bit easier. I don't know why, something with the fibers of the paper. But I heard that when I was learning how to make uh, one of these books. Okay, so I'll be back. I'm gonna finish making uh, the rest of my pages. I just wanted to show that little tip that I learned because it's it is helpful and it does work okay so I went ahead and make the rest of my pages and then um, I also went ahead and put my double-sided tape on all of my hinges so I'll show you how to do one more of these so I'll go ahead and take the backing off of the tape and I'm alternating colors so I'm doing uh, like this green aqua green it's a pretty green it matches a lot of the maggie home collect maggie homes collections so let me go ahead and let's see if i'm in a frame and i'll try to get in here so you want to go ahead and stick that hinge flap on uh, the page. And then once you got it where you want it, then you go ahead and press it down. And these are a little off, but it's okay. It, it'll, it'll work out once you get it decorated. So then you add the rest of your pages. If you guys wanna see me decorate the pages, um, I guess I can do another video just decorating it. You're basically going to um, just put pattern paper. So this was the six by six. So you just, if it just depends how thick of a border you want. If you want like a quarter inch or a half inch border around, you can just mat these. So you'll mat this one, this middle one, this one, and then you have to go ahead and mat the inside of this page. So when you mat this one, um, you'll kind of have to go over that little this crack right here, you'll want to make it a little bigger just so it kind of covers up right there. And on this one also. And then you can make a pocket if you want to, like that other one. I, I don't have it because I sent that one out, but the other one I had a pocket. I actually had made a mistake. So I cut a pocket on this side, but you can do one on this side and you can even do one on um, 
like right here. And you can also use a die. I have that die pocket that came from AliExpress. Let me see if I can find it, which I might try to do that one on this one just to see how it how it comes out. And, I, and of course, I can't find it, but it's the um, it's a die and it cuts a pocket out and it has like a um, like a design. If I find it, I'll show you on the next video. But um, if you guys want to see one like that, let me know where I'm decorating it and I'll go ahead and record it and post that one. But I will come back on after I add these pages so you could just kind of see it with the pages and then uh, uh, so you can see like just how it's supposed to be or how it okay, looks. Okay, I went ahead and finished putting all the pages. I actually cut too many pink and not enough green. So I went ahead and cut another one, but here's your pages in here. So like I said, if you're going to use the same card stock as the outside, then these would be that color, but you can use colored, whatever you have on hand of the 12 by 12, by 12 for these. You'll just need three, um, three pages because three sheets of 12 by 12 will make two pages for this book. So, okay, that didn't make sense. Three 12 by 12s will make six pages because you get two pages per 12 by 12 okay that's better so you'll go ahead and mat the inside the pages and the outside and the back uh like i had said in the other video if you're going to add ribbon or seam binding or or uh, something to or lace or something to close the book you'll want to add that now you'll want to add that before you put on your um, uh, designer paper. You'll want to, uh, I put a double-sided tape. Let me see. Let me see if there's one. Let me look for some ribbon and I'll show you how I to hear that. Uh, this is the one that I had gotten from uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, for I only paid 99 cents for it and it's really cute. It's a really cute trim. I need to see if they have more because I'm already running out. So, what you will do is put it like in the middle. So since this is six inches, it'd be three. Let's, oh, let's do it this way so that I can't figure out how to use it. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but go ahead and put, I would put the tape in like a little bit since you're going to mat this, you want some of the, um, some of the cardstock to show. So go ahead and put that in there. And I would say, let me see how big this or how long this one is. So say it's in about right there. Oh, I just lost my ribbon. So that is about. About 11 inches, so you need 11 inches for this side and 11 inches for the other side. And you can use more than one piece. Like on that other one, I used uh, I used um, like three different colors of the seam binding. And I think I got that on Etsy. I just ran out. I need to order some more. Okay, so when you put it on. Make sure you got it the right way. If the ribbon has a, you know, like a good side. So there, it, it's it. This will hold it enough for right now. And if you want to be like extra, if you want to be extra, then you can put a little bit more on top of it. I wouldn't take that off until you're ready to match your paper. Put your uh, designer paper on top. I wouldn't take that, you know, that piece off. So let's do this side. So it's about three inches. Okay. Uh oh. 
and I already got my other piece on here. You know what? I don't even know if that was. Let me see. Let me make sure. Just to make sure. Nope. I actually put it down a little bit. I don't think I put that one exactly at three inches. Nope. Yeah, so that's about right. I don't have to be exact, but so I guess I'll add another couple pieces on top to be extra. Oh, that's okay. Tore a little piece off. It's okay. It's gonna get covered up. Okay, so there's that. So there's you got your ribbon on already. And on this one. Like I had said last time, I put a piece that was a little longer, so it kind of wraps. And the reason why I did that, because it cracked, the paper underneath had cracked, but it actually looks pretty nice like that. So if you don't want, you were to want to do it like that, you know, where you, instead of doing a piece here, a piece here, and then a piece here, you could have this one wrap around. I think like with some glitter paper, it'll look cute. So you just measure how much you want it over on this side and this this side and you'll you know add up the size for there so excuse me like i said i can do another video decorating that but this is basically the the basic you know of making the embellishing embellishment book and matting it and stuff is pretty self-explanatory but that's the basics of it and decorate it and I'll mine when I added my embellishments I just use like paper clips and to hold them on here so that way the person that gets it can either re-gift it or they can put pictures in here and use it like as a mini album but that's it that's that's the end of it if you have any questions let me know I'll try to answer them if you decide to make one, let me know. I would love to see it. So if you like my video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I'll see you guys on the next video. 